Hey guys, it's been a while, so I figured I'd do another update. Um, couple, we've had a lot of changes here. Just figured I'd update you and all of them. Uh, first one is this little girl right here. Uh, she was adopted from a local uh, shelter. She's kind of crazy right now because I just came out to feed her and I haven't been out all morning, so she's excited. Um, she's a pretty good puppy. Uh, we've had her for a couple months now, but uh, she's a little bitey, so we're trying to wean her off that. I don't know if you guys have any uh, advice on how to wean a uh, puppy off biting. She's getting better though. I've just been kind of disciplining her as I go. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the rabbits. I just wanted to show you the new puppy so far. Oh, we actually did get rid of the chickens too because the uh, the, the puppy was uh, trying to get them all the time so I didn't want them to get hurt at all. So She did get them a couple times and I figured it was best just to get rid of them. Like, down. We'll start off with her. That's my uh, my mom in California. She's doing good. She's put on a lot of weight during the summer, so I'm gonna have to get her a litter in her so she can uh, use up some of that energy. So far, my plans this uh, winter is to get a litter of Californians purebred. Probably keep one of the one of the does and sell the rest, or you know, put them in the freezer. This is one of the offspring from my New Zealand buck, and uh, that's the female, this is the male. Uh, my New Zealand buck actually passed away during the last couple months. Uh, he got really sick with something, I don't know what, but he lost almost all his weight. And uh, he died over a period of like a week. I started double feeding him, tried to get him some weight on, overfeeding him, but it didn't help at all. He gained a little bit back at the end, but he ended up dying of whatever he had. It wasn't contagious though, he was right next to all the other ones and uh, they were fine. I made sure I watched them uh, really carefully after that to make sure they didn't get sick and none of them got sick so I think whatever he had was a genetic condition. You stop that. Stop biting. Get down. Okay, those are the two right here. Uh, I got my uh, Californian buck over in a bed in a portable cage but these are the two newest additions. It's a, uh, they're both standard size Rex. Get down! Get off me! They're both standard side Rexes, uh, pure white with the red eyes. Uh, they basically, I don't know if you're, if all of you are familiar with Rex rabbits, but they basically have an ultra, ultra dense layer of fur. They're what they use for uh, fur breeds in France. Um, these are the standard sides. Like I said, they have a miniature version too for pets, but these ones will get bigger. Not as big as Californians, but pretty big, about nine, ten pounds. Uh, these are about three and a half months. Uh, so I'm going to breed these in another three months once they hit six months. Get a litter of those and I'm going to build some more cages too. I'm going to expand my rabbit tree because there's a couple more breeds of rabbits I'd like to get. I'll take you over here. I really like these rabbits. They're, they're really friendly. I'm being jerky because the dog's jumping on me trying to get in the cage. But uh, they're really friendly. They're just nervous now because the dog's over here. But even so, you know, they're still, even so they're, they're scared, they're still, you know, they're not too hand shy. They just keep seeing the dog and it's freaking them out because the dog comes over here and barks at them sometimes. But for the most, she'll leave them, for the most part, she'll leave them alone. Yeah. What are you looking at? I don't know what breed she is. She's, like I said, she's a mutt. I think she's got some German Shepherd in her. Her feet are really blocky like a hound, so she's got probably a Rhodesian Ridgeback. They're really common in my area. And then I'm pretty sure she has some, uh, like, Australian Shepherd in her. Because her, uh, her litter mates that, at the pound, uh, had a real, that, uh, cattle dog look to them. Not really a Border Collie, but more like the, like the Shetland Shepherds or the Australian Sheepdog kind of things. But she looks a lot like a German Shepherd, so I think she's definitely got some in her. But uh, just want to update you guys, let you see the rabbits. A couple uh, things I'm going to be doing in the near future is I'm planning on building another double tier set of rabbit cages. So I'm going to do a how-to video on that. So if anyone wants to learn how to make them, my uh, other rabbit cage video did really well. So I'm going to do that. Plus I need the cage space, so get down. And uh, I'm going to do more duckweed videos. Uh, we've actually been getting some hard freezes here, so the duckweed's not doing all too good. Because the... Uh, top layer of ice is actually freezing with the duck we did it. It doesn't seem to be killing it, but can't be, it's not growing too fast in a layer of ice. 
Uh, that's really rare here for the Central Valley, California, to get to get ice. Uh, I woke up this morning at 6:30, and uh, there was a on all the housetops there was a thin layer of uh, snow from this little bit of precip precipitation we got last night. So it's kind of eerie. You don't really see that too much here. Uh, let me see what the thermometer says. 30 degrees. Yeah, that's really rare for California. Uh, probably a lot of you farther up north are going like, "Geez, 30 degrees! I'd kill for that." But <laughs> here, that's uh, wearing a wearing a jacket in December is uh, you're only I'm only wearing a light one, so don't get too jealous. But uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing those duckweed videos and the rabbit videos. So thanks, guys, for subscribing. I've got a lot of subscribers now from all over the world. I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm going to try to do more gardening videos as well. I'm going to expand the garden significantly this year. I'm going to add probably about eight raised beds, so we'll do more gardening videos as well. I just wanted to make a video, update you guys, like I said, and th tell you how thankful I am. Uh, some of the income I get from my YouTube channel really helps out in the projects I, I do, so I can't emphasize how much I appreciate you guys watching and supporting me. It means a lot. So should make the next video in the next couple weeks. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. I'll catch you later.